Ladies and gentlemen, I am hard at work here uh, harvesting this field for very little money. Uh, after we're done with this, we're going to speed up time um, so that we can uh, get to our cotton harvest, hopefully tonight. Uh, though I don't know if it'll be this episode, but we're going to try to get there as fast as possible. I was going to go for a walk tonight, but it looks like it's going to be raining, so we'll have to see what happens. Because the weather was so nice, but... Now it's turning into rain. I'll tell you what, that cramp tipper is really tall. We're above it, but just. Hey, Soupy. Hey. Soupy, if you're going down, can you get me some ice water, kid? Thanks. I know you will because you're a good boy. I see you off in the distance there, Mr. Micah, backing up. I think I missed this. Uh, yeah, I did. I just started missing a little bit. That's okay. We all have those moments. Missed a spot. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, you don't want to miss too much you know, in this game. This stuff is expensive. <laughs> yep. Hey, John, what's up, kid? Now, one thing that we, since we've been nipping the weeds in the bud, we have not seen them grow to second stage. Well, see, with this this device, we could let them go to second stage. Maybe, we should, maybe we should do that, because what my fear is is that we'll weed, and then we have to weed again. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. No one has figured out what the cycle is for weeds, anyway. It, yeah. it They come in weird, but... And on the other two maps, they don't come in weird. They seem to come in pretty uniform. But it depends on the field you're on, too. So. These are neglectful farmers for not taking care of their crop. I should be done with this pretty quick. I think it's looking like I'm about... Eh, no, I'm not halfway done. I'm about a third of the way done. <laughs> uh, it's taking forever. Are you harvesting? Okay. See, this is what's nice about, you know, doing this. You could sit there and do a, a mission while I'm doing some... Otherwise, we're just sitting there with our thumbs, you know. Up our Whatever. twiddling. Yeah, just sitting there twiddling our thumbs. Yeah. Or at least one of us would be. Right, right. So it does make it so that we can kind of stay busy. I just wish the pay was just... I mean, it doesn't have to be tons higher, but if we could make... It'd be nice to make four or $5,000, which we're going to make about four. So I guess it's all right. I don't know. In real life, that's probably, you know, realistic for a couple hours of work. It's probably actually on the high side. If you're driving other yeah, people's Yeah, I don't know stuff, what, they, what they would actually charge. Right. I wish they would just say, um, instead of doing a leasing equipment, I wish it would just be either it's the farmer's equipment or you can use your own. Yeah, like you get there in the farm. Well, that's how they did in 17, though, when you think about well, it. Well, no, they forced you to use the uh, the farmer's equipment. Oh, but you could use your own, right. Well, you we can we, use your own. We can use our own, though. We just don't have our own. Right. But my point is then you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, you're buying the equipment to use. Right. It would, it would just be his and you're just basically a farmhand. Right. True. Almost done. I'm glad you're almost done, my friend. I'm not anywhere near done. If we had a second harvester, it probably wouldn't. It wouldn't matter because really, you can't add. You can't use your own harvester then once you lease, right? Or can you? See, that's what I don't know. It's like you could do your lease, and then I could run maybe to the farm and grab ours. But we don't have. I don't them. know. But see, then again, you're not getting a bonus for time. 
True, but that way we didn't, but we'd both be, but we would be getting it done faster, which would free us up for more work. True. So we'd want to kind of look for cotton. Maybe if we want to do cotton jobs, that would be a good one because then we can have two cotton harvesters running. I hear woodpeckers in the background. And a toucan in that tree. Can you believe it's almost Christmas? I know it. I, I haven't got my parents anything for Christmas yet. I don't I know, know what to get them. I know. I, did you get all your Christmas shopping done? Nope. Nope, I did not. And I'm broke, so I don't know how I'm going to, but I'm going to try. Hopefully my father-in-law will give the kids Christmas money again, but... Now, if something gets sent to your house, the kids will most likely get it and open it, won't they? No, they don't seem to do that too often. I haven't, they haven't done that in a while, like where they just grab stuff and open it. I, I don't, usually they think it's for me and my business, which usually it is, actually. Oh, which reminds me, I gotta get Chris's stuff up for sale. Dang. Because if there's something you know that somebody wants something and it's on Amazon, let me know. That's very sweet of you, Mike. Actually, I'll, yeah, I'll. I'm trying to think of what to do for good presents this year because my kids just kind of like leave their toys all over the place. Mm hmm. So that frustrates me. Um, the Legos are out. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Ow, John! Oh, man. I've had many, many, many Lego step moments. Yeah. Yeah. Not I a... unfortunately never had Legos as a child. Yeah. How come? Your parents just didn't like them. For that reason, mm, it, we just weren't. We just didn't have any money. Yeah, they're so expensive too. I had Lincoln Logs. Yeah, boy, did I ever have Lincoln Logs. The kids, too, our kids had them too, because even modern day Lincoln Logs were uh, pretty cheap. You get a pretty big kit for like twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. But uh, do they still make them? I don't know. I had Lincoln Logs, Matchbox cars, and. Uh, I made my uh, kids pick. And I had, like, here and there toys, I guess. Like, Mark and Ryan had just tons of Lincoln Logs and stuff like that, and I I made them pick. I'm like, you know what, guys? I uh, I just can't handle, like... I I couldn't handle the... the so I'm like, like, look, you either can have Legos or Lincoln Logs, but we can't have both messes. Like, you need to pick one or the other. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I, I don't want to say my parents didn't provide. I mean, we had other things, like... Yeah. You know, like we would get like dirt bikes. Oh, there and things you go. Like that. Yeah. You know, so we had dirt bikes and stuff that, um, you know, people didn't want them no more. So my dad would get them and we'd work on them and fix them up and we go trail riding and stuff like that. But yeah, my cousin and I had a lot of fun on our our dirt bikes for sure. Um, same thing. We'd get them used like secondhand. My grandpa, my grandpa was a Mister Fix It, so he would get them all fixed up and. Mm hmm. We'd ride all over the neighborhood. Take him off some sweet jumps. So let's see here. I remember my cousin, <laughs> Sherry, she was down and she's like, I had gotten a new 10 speed, like eh, probably my 13th birthday or whatever. It was really nice. She's like, oh, can I try it? I haven't ridden one in a while. I'm like, all right, just be careful. So she gets on it and drives like right into a telephone pole. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Like totally bent the wheel, like like oh, my new bike. That bike got a lot of mileage though. I used it to go to school and back, so I rode it every day. One time, and this is kind of—I mean, you, you know, whoever knows the right and wrong of the story, but I, my friend Paul and I, we we'd ride our bikes together in junior high, and we'd share a lock. You know, like, Paul didn't have a lock, so I he would share my lock. Mm -hmm. So, what did you just sell? The rest of that uh, fertilizer stuff. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, and so, he 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 had a retreat one weekend. And so, it's a Friday night, and I get out um, to my bike. And Paul's not there. He's supposed to meet me. So, I waited for 15 minutes. 
I waited for like 25 minutes and he still wasn't there. I didn't know he was going on a retreat. I thought, well, maybe he got detention or something. But I had to go home. Like, I wasn't going to stay there all night. So I, I think I literally waited for 40 or 45 minutes. You know, this is in junior high. And so I, uh, I left. I had to take, I took my lock and I went home because I'm like, well, if I lock his bike back up, he won't be able to leave. You know what I mean? So I just, I took his, I took the lock and I left the bike. Of course, somebody stole it. So, uh, so then his dad blamed me for it. Like, and I'm like, your son is the one that ran off and left his bike, like went to the retreat. Cause it turned out he went to the retreat. That's why he didn't come get his bike. I'm like, why is that my fault that he wasn't responsible enough to come and get his bike? I didn't know where he was going. He didn't tell me he was going on a retreat. So anyway, well, you know, you you look pretty guilty, so I will put it down. Yeah, no, his dad, his, his dad was a jerk. That guy was always kind of a jerk. So that was the last time I really hung out with him. I was like, well, if your dad's gonna be a jerk to me, like I don't really want to. I can't, you know, I'm not doing this. Because he was like, he called me and was like swearing at me and stuff like that. And I'm, you know, I'm like thirteen. Wow. I'm like thirteen years old, and I'm like, uh, bye. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of, there's, you know, I had neighbors, their dad was the same way. Yep. And my mom did call him back and shoot him out. Like, how dare you speak to my son like that? Your son's the one that left his bike up there, and it's not my son's fault that your son is irresponsible. Like, don't don't you dare call him and start swearing at him. You know, so, anyway, that, mm-hmm. didn't, that didn't end well. But Okay, so. From that point forward. And secondly, on top of that, why why isn't his son responsible enough to bring his own lock? You know? <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like, one, your son forgot to bring his lock. And two, you're blaming my son for, you know, like, not your son didn't tell my son he was not coming back. So, double whammy. Why is that, why is that our fault? Anyway. Back in the day. We'd always park over at the library, though, because the junior high, the junior high had these like cement block bike locks, and they were always full. So we just parked our, we we parked at the library, which was next door, and then we'd walk over to the to junior high because there was never any parking space for our bikes. It was funny because my whole career in high school, like our Rocky River, has a rule that. Um, you had to live more than a mile from the school to get bussed. Um, maybe maybe it was a mile. I mean, maybe it was two miles. But anyway, uh, I always lived out, out like just inside that ring. So no matter what school I went to, I had to walk. <laughs> I guess in a way it's a blessing, though, because, you know, with the busing, it sucks. You have to be there like super early in the morning. And, you know, oh, yeah. The only time that it's a benefit is during the winter when, you know, I'm, you know, I'm walking to school and like too below and it's you know i'm in a blizzard you know and it's like freaking you know snowing and everybody else is on the bus nice and warm you know but yeah my grandparents were ruthlessly cheap so they would never they would never drive me to school you know god forbid they'd have to use the gas to take me up to the school (laughs) well you know because they never had to right right so that was their point like well we didn't we didn't get rides to school so you don't need one either um thankfully my neighbor the neighbor girls uh like in high school they had a car that their parents got them, so she, uh, Shannon and Rachel would pick me up a lot of times if they saw me walking in bad weather. They'd be like, "Hey, you want a ride?" I'd be like, "Yeah, please." Oh, so you got rides with chicks? What are you? What are you <laughs> whining for? We what were. The heck, it was man. not a romantic thing. Shannon Anybody or, out there listen to this guy whining? Did he had to walk to school and get picked up by chicks on the way? Come it was on. Not, no, it was not. It was nice to have the ride for sure, but they weren't. They were not like romantic interest of mine. We were, we grew up as friends, like. From the time we were little kids. Yeah, but when you're that age, who cares what kind of interest is, uh, you know there's interest no, at all? I wasn't attracted to those girls, but that's all right. Got to talk to some chicks though. Yeah. <laughs> Driving around in a, I think it was the first year that Honda Civic made a sedan. They made a sedan. Right, so they had a Honda Civic sedan. So your knees are all up into your chest, and you're trying to sit there. They be, were to be cool. really small. Those original Honda Civics were really tiny. Mm-hmm. They had those little, you know, they had the steel wheels and everything. Remember those? Yeah. Like the gray steel wheels. It ran forever, though, man. They had that car through college and everything. Like, they had it for, like, 10 or 15 years. 
the mom was driving it after that. Like when I when I got married, we lived in that their mom's apart. Uh, they had an upper apartment in their house, and when we first got married, we lived up there, and she still was driving that car. <laughs> and that was at least at least twelve years after they got it. So and it just it just seemed to keep running, and it was in, in great shape too. So. <sighs> The mom used to get drunk, uh, and then she, like, I came home one day, and she, she'd always get mad because I'd park my car, like, they had, like, this log pile, and I'd get the car as close to the log pile as I could, but she's like, oh, no, you can pull it closer, and I'm like, well, no, it'd be fine, so one day in the drunk, she's like, here, I'm just going to show you how to do it, I'm like, no, 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 it's okay, like, just, it, it'll be oh. fine, like, she gets in a totally just, it's like a brand new car, just totally drives it all along the logs, and I'm just like, are you kidding? And she got out, and she felt really bad, she's like, oh, my gosh, I'm sorry, and I'm like, yeah, that was five hundred dollars to buff that out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't like. Why didn't you tell me this was a piece of junk? Yeah, <laughs> that was my first car. That was a well, that I bought. My 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 when, when we got married, my mom and grandma gave us a GMC Jimmy, but Cat needed a car, so I bought a, a Chevrolet uh, Cavalier, a little red. A little red Cavalier. It was the the first body style that wasn't square. It was like the rounded one. And that car was fun. It had little tiny tires, and it was fun to drive in the snow. Like you could really whip it around, and it would stick. It's like a little like a little rally car. Oh. <laughs> a little lawnmower engine. <laughs> like when you run and be like. My cousin had a Dodge Charger. Which Whoa. Was like those little Daytonas, you know. Oh, they were the like cheap. Yeah. You know? Right. Like but that thing was just so much. I think it had like a 2.2 in it. Right. And But it was so much fun. <laughs> it was just so much fun. You guys are always cruising around in it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think of my, my friend. Uh, my friend Kevin had a... Uh, I'm trying to think of the cars that we had. My, my friend Mark had a Cavalier Z24, which was such a piece of crap. Uh, he'd always try to race it, and we'd always lose. I'm like, Mark, just give it up. It's not a fast car. He's like, yeah, it is. I'm like, dude, it's just... Mm. It's basically the same thing as the regular car, but with, like, 500 extra pounds of body molding, you know? 500 pounds of extra pounds. Like, it's not fast. He's, he was sure it was fast. He had that car until his, his girlfriend shifted it into, into park while they were on the freeway. Oh, gosh. And it, it blew the transmission out. <laughs> anyway, uh, and so my friend Kevin Stedman had one of those AMC Eagles. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like the four-wheel drive. Yeah. And we used to Four-wheel drive wagon. <laughs> and where I grew up, there was a big hill called Wager Hill, and we used to jump it. <laughs> Like coming home from church, oh my we'd, gosh. we'd jump it down the hill. You ever know anybody had one of those brats, super brats? No, but those were cool. That was a, yeah. It was like a Japanese El Camino. Yeah, those things were the brat was a really cool car. No, super just wasn't like super popular in, around then. You you see occasionally see them, but they really they really didn't start getting popular until the Forester. Yeah, the Outback, you know. Now, interestingly, when you jump out of the released equipment, it shuts off. Do we have that? We don't have the automatic start on, do we? No. Weird. Look at my beautiful tractor. I love New Holland. What are you doing over there, Mr. Micah? Uh, I'm just loading up the... Um, I went and got a new thing of uh, fertilizer, and I put them on the wagon. Okay. Wait, didn't you sell the fertilizer? Yeah, I sold... We, cause remember, the glitch is that if... The, let's say I use half the fertilizer. Okay. I sell it, I get the full price back, so I basically... Or you get close to the full price. I think it's down a little bit. Like well, anyway, by the time I got done selling, I had enough to buy a full brand new one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so I I just replenished the, Oops. the sprays. Giants needs to cut that in half. That's a mistake. They need to pay you hey, for I the look fluid. at it as the seller had them on sale and didn't realize they shouldn't have been on sale. So that's the way I look at it. <laughs> kind of like the, wor the, like the World of Tanks gold exploits, like where you buy a tank and then get the full value of gold when the sale was over. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we can't do that. Oops. <laughs> I'm just going to lay the forks on this thing. 
But even this tractor can't even use this stupid thing. Stupid tractor. The sprayer. Crop protection. We're going to have to either get that one. Ooh, 84 or 115. That's as much as a field. For That's what? That's disgusting. For what? For one of the sprayers. Oh, for the mobile the mobile ones? Yeah. Oh, no, for the ones that are trailers. Wow. Yeah, I think it's like 80 or 90,000, isn't it? 84 for the cheap one and 115 for the, the Hardy. I think the Hardy is self-propelled. No, it's a trailer. Really? Yeah, the other ones are I think are under tractors. Trackers? Forest, potatoes, cotton, crop protection. Now the ones that are self-propelled, the Star is two hundred grand and the Hardy is five hundred. Two hundred and five hundred. Yeah. I could have sworn this. I can't believe this stupid little tractor doesn't have front, P, front PTO. Oh my gosh. Ugh, I am full throttle right now. This thing cannot pull this thing up the hill. This tipper is way too big for this tractor. They should have given us a bigger tractor. So they didn't give us a gearbox, but they did give us the PTO that revs up when you're doing PTO stuff. Which like, is very cool. Yeah, like I think when I dump this out, we should we should theoretically hear the PTO kick in. Everybody, let's listen. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> or I could be totally wrong. Too bad. Okay, time to head back. Sorry for the phone. What happened? Oh, you don't hear the phone ringing? No, uh-uh. I didn't hear nothing. So no worries. No harm done. What you doing now, Mr. Micah? Uh, harvesting. Oh, cool. You're working on the contract with me? Yep. Yep. There's the train. I'll have to drive that in a little bit. Whoa! Little bit of a steep jump there. Yeah, got almost done there, didn't we? Yep. <sighs> Oh my gosh, there's weeds on this field. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. He wasn't doing How in the heck are you going to be able to ever see the weeds on corn? Right. That's why you'd have to hire somebody to do it. Right. Or the GPS mod. So you can make sure that you're doing, set it to the width of the sprayer and then you know that you're on the right lines. Otherwise, I don't know. How full are you? Uh, 25%. Oh, okay. Why did you cut through the middle, goofball? I don't know. I just made the turn. I'm like, hey, I'll just go straight down the middle and I'll grab as as much as the combine will is allowed to take. Right. <laughs> Usually, that's what I do when I play my own farms. I skip rows because you can you the combine. Like it'll it'll grab outside of the just a bit outside, you know, of the Oh cover. right, so you get a little bit more coverage. So yeah, you you take up more as you go. Until you screw up and it's not the same width and then you have to go back again. Yeah. But look at you driving that perfect line, so never mind.
Mr. Micah, working hard. Or is it hardly working? Try to hardly work. That's not the most. <laughs> Trying to hardly work. What speed do you run at when you're harvesting? Are you six or five? It's probably this middle six, right? Six. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> what? I just feel like Pac-Man, that's all. <laughs> Gobbling up corn? Yeah. I don't know about you, when I played 15 and I was doing silage, it really bothered me to grind up all that corn just to throw in a bunker. <laughs> right. Because I love corn in the cob. And it just bothered me so much to do that. I'm not sure, like, how we get the, the sweet corn that we eat. Like, I think it probably is a different process, isn't it? I think it's a different variety of corn. There's oh. feed oh. corn, and then I think there's sweet corn, I think. And I think it has to do with something with the tassels on top. Oh, interesting. I believe. I thought someone told me if there's, like, no tassels or something, then it's sweet corn. And if there's tassels on top, then it's feed corn. Because once it dries, you can't, like, eat it like human consumption, right? Oh, you could try. You could try. But it wouldn't get a taste for it. <laughs> you said, oh, you could try. Good job, Mr. Micah. Like I said, I just this is how I do my fields. the tractor dance now this one i might have cut too little too much at the first uh-huh we'll see oh i'm grabbing it so we'll see looks good to me looks all clear to me do 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 solemnized i have to get uh i need to release a youtube video today i haven't released any videos oops Probably will release the last Estancia La Pacha tonight. You know, I love this farm. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it too. It's a good, it's a good farm. It's a nice. I farm. also like the fact that I can jump on it and do a couple of jobs or something, and instead of like you know, because don't get me wrong, but waiting for you to get to want to do one of these kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. No, it's all right. I mean, I know you're busy. I mean, you got, you know, when, during during your peak time of the year, it's like you have no time, and then you got all the farms to try to do. And <laughs> so, I mean, I, I get it, but sometimes it's like, man, I really wish we could do some Ford Farm this week, you know. And it's like, well, he's busy, so right. Sorry. It's all right. Now, do I have to take this back to the dealership to sell? Or? Nope, just drop it there and go get the train. Meet me at the, the nearest uh, silo. The owner will take it back for us. I'm going to fold it up. Oh, come on. It drives me crazy not to leave equipment all messed up. I know, I know. Me too. You know how we are. Wait. Wait. Is that corn I see? Oh, uh, never mind. There's a couple strands, yeah, no big deal. I was like, I didn't do that, did I? <laughs> no, when I was showing off how good I was at going down the line perfectly, uh, that's when I did it, so, yeah. So that's on me. How do I jump in the train? You can just keep tabbing until you're in it. A tab, where is that at? Did I turn that off? Really, this is... Vehicle volume. 
All right. So we have finished up that contract. That took about an hour, really. Two episodes almost, which is, that's a lot of work. For a very I don't have that time. option to tab over to the train. But Can this, you tab into the train? Um, I mean, I'll try it. Check the menu, see if it's turned on. I don't even see it in the menu. That's why I'm looking. Uh, we should, I mean, we should be able to. Or is there no train in multiplayer? But how are we going to deliver this if there's no train? That makes no sense. I don't think there's a train in multiplayer. Well, that's really stupid. How the frick am I supposed to deliver this to the to the? No way! You dro you drop it off at a train place, right? Yeah. Place for you. But it's not it's not telling me delivered. That's Let's see. Where is it at? A little bit buggy. I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna see if I can hand deliver it. What's up, matey, mate, mate, mate? Hi, babes. Oh, that place up there, the transport company, There, if you look, there's a road that leads up there. You can drive up there. Drop it off. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to have to. What sucks is there's this tipper's not... Um, I'm about to make two trips. Well, let me see if I can get a hold of the train. I don't think you can in multiplayer. I'm pretty sure it's locked. So if I stand on the tracks, run me down? It'll just run you over. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Just trying to see where I'm supposed to go here. I think I go to the right, and then pass 13, make a left. Pass 9, make another left. And we should be there. Pretty goofy. I don't know if this tractor's even gonna be able to pull this up the hill, like. This is a T6, what's the horsepower on this? 175? Yeah, probably. It's about the same horsepower as my Stara. Our star is only 180, so. 180, yeah, so this one's got 10 less. I mean, if you get stuck, just let me know. I'll grab the truck, and I can push. Okay, what's the matter, John? Why are you freaking out, boy? I need a Ryan's help. Well, Ryan's not here, so. There's no Ryan to help. No help, John. Did you ever go walking the tracks as a kid? Yep. <laughs> Did you ever get honked at by the train operator? No. Gosh, I remember me and my cousin, he lived in Delta. And we we're just sitting there walking the tracks. Mm -hmm. it scares the and crap out of you. we're just sitting there walking and didn't hear a thing or nothing. All of a sudden, like real loud it's like we turn around the train's probably two football fields behind us didn't even hear it yeah that's why i i i'm always like super careful about walking on tracks even as a kid i was like eh. once in a while we would do it for fun but it's like i would usually wait till after a train pass because i knew it would be at least 15 minutes before another one came through but yeah you have to be real careful <laughs> yeah, we just we just turned and looked at each other and jumped off the tracks and then like 20 seconds later he comes flying past. I was just like, I'm just like, I didn't hear that thing. You know? Yeah, you don't. Yeah. If they're, if they're coasting, they're not that loud. So there's just like a low thrum. But if they're, if they're, if they're under power, you can hear them a long way away. Cause they're like, you know, you hear the noise. Yeah. Oh, good grief. I don't know if I'm going to make it up this hill. I'm running the tracks backwards to try to find the train just to see if I can find it. I'm pretty sure the train's not operable in multiplayer, which I don't know why they did that, because it used to be in 17. Like, what? <laughs> That's it. Could be though. another patch. Or mod. Drivable trains for multiplayer. Because this ain't cut. <gasps> oh, there it is. Gosh. Here, I'm in it. Okay, let's see. You're driving it? See. Braking, powering. Yep, I can drive it. Well... <laughs> I think I got to come back because I don't think I'm going to make it up this hill. I mean, I'm like stalled. 
So I'm gonna start backing down. Meet me at the at the nearest. Uh, I'll meet you right back where you picked him up at. Yeah. Did you get inside the train yet? Yeah. Uh, so much. Looks so good. Like I haven't been inside that one yet. Is that the same engine that we have in the the American map? Um, I. I think, I think the is. train's different. Yeah, it's different than the old Estancia La Pacha train, most likely. I'm trying to think, what car are we going to be using? Well, that's going to make the episode go First way car. over. Sorry, guys. We'll be at about 45 minutes, probably. Go ahead and uh, use the grain car and load whatever corn's in the silo into the train already, and then I've got the other load here. What, are you stuck? No, I'm on my way now. Yeah, don't, don't worry. I tried to get up the hill, but like halfway up, I just, I, I got, I could, it would probably take me about an hour to make it up the hill because it just, it was stalling out. Wheel slipping, no traction, and I was only like a, maybe a quarter of the way up. And it was getting steeper. This trailer is just way too big for this tractor on hills. It's okay on flat land, but. Oh, oh that sucks. What? The, in, in 17, when you blew the train horn, remember, it would go through, like, a, a real train cycle. Oh, just do it yourself. You know, this one here, you have to do it yourself. It's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm glad that you can drive the trains. I thought maybe you can't, but that's good news that you can. So, I was wrong again. It's okay, buddy. You can't be right all the time. Well, that's true. I'm just right. And especially, clock. you know, after Miss... What what do you call her? Pookie boo, pook pook, honey poo, honey poo. Yeah, honey poo. Gets gets over here. You're never gonna be right. So <laughs> get used to <laughs> it. Just start getting rude or getting used to that now. Yeah. She was so tired today. Like she, I, we should, we were talking because she's five foot seven. I said so. I'm like like five inches. She's like no three. And I'm like, no five. Like do the math. And she's like, <sighs> she's like you went the wrong way. She's like you're right. No, I'm coming this way. Oh, okay. So it was funny. It's cute. Like, usually she's right on the ball. I could tell she was totally worn out because she just... Yeah, that's a different engine than it used to be on this map. The other one was like a dark red. Yeah. That looks really cool, honestly. It had a better horn. Now, you go ahead and take the train. Okay. And I'll take that tractor back. Okay. I hope the train doesn't take off. I jumped out. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm coming. SD Come here, Mr. New Holland. SD41-2. That's so funny. They can't use the actual names. Does this have beacons? It does have beacons, but you can't make them flash. Uh, I wish it was a steam train. That would have been freaking no, awesome. That's not real. Well, what's funny is, okay, so this one, this train actually has, it has the frame. They still use steam trains. So the correct would be, the correct thing would be an SD40-2 uh, for the engine type. They can't use that because it's obviously uh, GM, you know, so these are, this is a generic engine. But what's funny is. This train has the frame of an SD series, but it's got the trucks of a GP. So SDs have um, uh, have have uh, six axles, and you can see here we only have four axles on this train. So this is actually a GP uh, or a Jeep, as they call them. You know, there are countries that still use steam power. You know. Yeah. Yep. Wow, it's really laggy. I can't. Even in England. Well, but that's more of a tourist thing, you know what I mean? Well, this is yeah, really but still, laggy. they're still being used, right? I mean, how cool would it be to sit there and get in the get in the game and you're? I'm sure I mean? somebody will do it. Wow, it is really laggy. It's funny, like the train's like. Trains usually don't have red lights on the back of the engines. It's not like a car. They have white lights going forward and backwards. 
the last train, the last car on the train will have what's called an EOT end of train, and those are they, those are flashing, usually flashing red. Some railroads have different colors, but it's, it's almost always flashing red. All right, tractors delivered. All right. About day, Tom Cruise. What? Sorry. Now it's funny is I just heard another train horn honk. That wasn't me. That's me. Help me, Mr. Cruz. Help me. All right, we are about to make the delivery on this five thousand dollars worth of load. No, really? No, really. Oh, that's right. We're not getting the money for that. That's right. No, but we'll get five thousand bucks for the job. But yeah, a little frustrating. We can go ahead and advance time. Then once we're done this, we'll start the next episode, and we'll do our cotton, our cotton picking. I cotton. I love that Alabama song. That's such a good song. <laughs> Not familiar with that one. No. No. Look it up. It's a good song. Two thousand seven hundred for harvest income. All right, and then we need to finish the contract. So contract completed, and we're gonna complete it. And so we just got how much? Four thousand two. Okay, so we made six, almost seven thousand dollars. Yeah, so, we made, we did make seven because it was uh, fifteen. Yeah, not not too bad. That's not that's not bad. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get up on that field and yeah, we really. I know. That. I'm running back to the farm. <laughs> Do you want? To, oh, you did speed up time. Okay, look at you. Look at you, Mister Micah wins the day. Hopefully this will. I don't. How many stages do we have left to grow? Uh, I believe four was almost hit, and six is two stages behind. Two stages behind. Okay. Now, do you want to get a horse or two on this farm? Oh gosh, yeah, horses, everything but pigs. Okay, field number. I think horses and chickens would be good. <clears throat> the other field just popped. Uh, this field. Do you want to keep good. going? To a yeah, I would say let's wait till they're both the same. Because this is a good question. Yeah. If we harvest when it hits yellow, is there less harvest than no. it is on bright orange, or is it all the same? No, it should be the same. Hmm. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode uh, as we finished up our contract. Made a, an okay chunk of change, not a ton, but not bad for a morning. And uh, we are going to go ahead and let this cotton finish growing, and then we will be back for the next exciting harvesting episode of our cotton. Let's see how much we can get. I am so giddy. <laughs> see you guys in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.